we're right outside of Yosemite. And what's nice is we're surrounded by millions of pine trees, which are essentially Christmas trees, right? But like unlike other lakes we've been to that are kind of like barren and there's some bushes in here and there. It looks all dry and thirsty. It's like really beautiful because it's like forests and forests of trees, like really old trees. Okay, guys, there's like this really bougie store about my house. Everything is super expensive. So I just picked up a few things. I got some ciabatta, focaccia bread, shrimp, chips. I love this hot garlic flavor. Just wait. I got some of these for the bar cart. Ginger, orange candy, some Cholula for my son. I decided to try this cheese I've never seen. Toma Province, I don't know what flavor, because I'm gonna make some pasta. So I got some garlic, some Parmesan. And then I got a bunch of green spicy peppers so I can use my new food processor and make some my sofrito or green seasoning, whatever you want to call it. So I'm gonna make that. And then I'm like, I have something really cool to show you. I just came back from Yosemite, so like my house is not that clean or anything, but these finally came. Aren't they beautiful? And this is what I use, well, I'm going to use to lift up this cheap Ikea console. So I have four of them, and I think I paid like 150 for four, which is a good deal, from a maker off Etsy who's based out of India, and he has every single color. Oh my God, I'm super impressed with them. So I'm gonna show you how I lift up the console. And if I want to be safer, I could always stack them like this so that they're stacked that high instead of this high, but we'll try this way first. So you can go ahead and blacken your veggies, peppers, you can, whoa, you can blacken your own onion if you want to. I like to do it because it gives it like a sweet flavor, but it's super hot. Hold on. So at this point, I'm gonna place my blackened veggies in here. I took a lot of the seeds out, and the crazy thing is, some of my best tricks I didn't even learn in culinary school. And at the time I went, it was super expensive, and it actually took me 20 years to pay, a, pay it off. Yeah, 20 years to pay off culinary school. So make sure you get all the black bits. That's what's gonna give it the smoky flavor. And I like to add uh, chicken bouillon as my salt of choice, even though I like spilled it everywhere. But yeah. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I love the black bits. That's all gonna be flavor. So I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna saute this, and I'm gonna ground some beef. That's gonna be our meat. Like maybe I'll just make, um, I don't know. I was gonna make beef patties, but I think I'll just have like ground beef, and then I'm gonna make some anchovy pasta like I always make. You know, where you, you melt the anchovy in a butter sauce? It's really delicious. I have a souvenir from Yosemite, isn't that cool? I'm usually not into like sentimental things, but I'm just amazed at the beauty and the freshness of that area. Usually when we go to lakes, it's like dry sand dunes around the perimeter. But this time it was like we were in the middle of a forest. It was really quite beautiful yeah. forest of pine trees. Yeah. Okay, so I have the rest of my profile, but I want to show you how uh, the needle is very... It goes right under the skin. It's not long. I don't know if you could see that. See how short it is? Yeah, so I'm going to wash my hands, put my gloves on, and finish the rest of my... Uh, you know what's crazy? My son Stevie came back from being a CYO camp counselor, and now he's all vegan and dairy-free. And I'm like, well, just slap me in the morning and just walk away. I actually changed my mind. I think I'm going to make meatballs, but I'm going to combine some pork panko, some regular panko, ground beef, and my sofrito, my homemade blackened sofrito. There's black bits in there. Um, I think I'm gonna use this and try to make my own little meatballs with These this. These are actually made by a tribe, well not a tribe, but a small collection of women in a small West African village. So I thought that was cool. There's actually an inlay on it. I don't know how they make the inlay, but it's very pretty, I love them. Actually, no, not this one. It's this one, and where is it? It's not that one. Where is it? You see, I like these rustic spoons. Oh, it's this one. So these two are made by uh, some small collective of women in a West African village. I think that's super pretty. 
Okay, guys. I think it might be spicy. So these meatballs are so good. Hey guys, I'm super excited about this new exercise set. It's color blocked and it comes with a set of three. So I got that. The green sauce we made with cream, our sofrito, my aloe basil. Now I just combined the cornstarch and the panko. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna coat the fish in mayo, dip it in the mixture, fry it lightly, then bake it off. And then when it's just done cooking, we're gonna add it to the sauce. That way I can ensure that the middle is cooked because these are like uneven sizes and stuff. So then this fish has been mayonnaise and panko and cornstarch crusted. It's been sauteed. I'm gonna add it to the oven. And after about 10 minutes of baking, I'm going to add our sauce. I actually burnt the sauce a little bit. I had to add more cream, but it's super delicious. It should be more of a green color, but it's so good, you guys. It was more green before, but then I had to add more cream because I uh, burnt it a little bit. So I have the four pieces here. They're really pretty. Nope, they're pretty heavy. I kind of wish they were all the bright pink color, but that's okay. So I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna make sure to put. You better quit. I'm gonna make sure to put these in the front. So this was actually my husband's idea. I was showing him this book by Kelly Wurstler, and I was showing him how she incorporates a lot of stone, and <clears throat> her stuff is all really luxe and um, like high end looking. And um, he says, <clears throat> one way we can incorporate that same vibe is to add some natural stone in places. Because she uses a lot of natural granite, quartz. And so he suggested that we take the quartz and lift up the cadenza. So that's what we're going to do. came in different um, heights and this is like lime is this sandstone or limestone? I think it was sandstone. Sandstone so it kind of like crumbles easily. Tahoe. What a long time ago. Look how young my husband was. <laughs> oh, here's, I found a picture of my uncle. He's the first African American to win an Olympic medal in cycling. Nelson Bales. Like, I think the 88 Olympics. Is that cool? 84. Oh, 84. Okay guys, so this is my first time wearing my yellow pouch and I'm wearing my cocoa handle mini, but yeah, this little yellow pouch is super cute. And um, yeah, and so I'm wearing my Chanel dad sandals. This is the first time I've actually worn them um, because my feet are kind of big, but my husband said they make my feet look small. Okay guys, so this is the finished. My house is not that clean. 
because I haven't done a thorough cleaning. I'll do a thorough cleaning tonight or tomorrow. That's the Phoenix Credenza. I love the feet. I think it looks cute. So this was from Ikea, super good find. So yeah, this is a pan out of my living room. It's a pretty big living room, but it's, it's difficult with the kids. Like for example, like my new credenza that I got here. Look, look what the baby did to the inside. Look at that. So it's like you wanna have nice things, but it's not always that practical, but at least it was the other side of the door. All right, guys, so I'm gonna finish this vlog with a quick demo on threads. Um, I'm getting procedure done on Tuesday, so I don't wanna to do too much to my face, but someone did ask me to do a quick demo of the threads, and I'm about to show okay, you Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, but if you wanna see like DIY beauty treatments, then keep watching. I'm gonna show you how I add a tiny PDO thread um, under my eyes for collagen production, matrix building and an overall plumping effect. Okay, so I did one right here and I'm just gonna match it and do another one right there, just a demo. So the first thing I do is I wipe with alcohol the area. I don't have any makeup on so that I don't need to wash my face. And there's different kinds. These are by Neogenesis. Make sure you get you don't want to get the kind that says cannula because that means you're going to have to make a pilot hole and then put in the thread. I get the kind that says mono. And I'm going to put on some gloves just for this video, but usually I just wash my hands. I don't want to put on gloves because um, I feel like my hands are clean. But I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So, Mono and there's gonna be so how many come in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just gonna do one. Let me show you how it goes. In. When you open the top, there's a little thread attached. You can't see it, but it's there. So what you're gonna do, I just wanna work on this area. So go in. Pull. Push. You. Get a good plane. Push. Okay, so at this point, I needed to look in the mirror because I needed a better view to make sure I'm in the right plane because it really should go in like butter. It's right under the skin, not in the muscle, it's in an area between the skin and the muscle, and it should go in like butter, really. All right, and you give a twist. Cool. All right, there you go, one thread. And then you have to put the top back on and put it in a sharps container. You put a little ice. Super easy, guys. So what it does is it builds collagen. Okay, so I put some ice here, but you can see I did one here earlier. And these are the easy threads. These are mono PO threads. They're not the lifting threads. Um, so I don't need to do any lifting. I've already done that. Like surgically, I've done lifting. So I don't need to do that. But... Um, yeah, put some ice. It's always good to have an ice roller on hand, but they're so easy, you guys. Anyways, thanks for watching my vlog. See you next time. Bye.